So, in this lecture, I am going to talk about Cauchy's dispersion relation. And I want to derive it from the electromagnetic theory of dispersion or the dispersion relation which uh, I got from uh, electromagnetic theory of dispersion. So let us proceed to derive. As we know in the earlier lecture that n square is equal to 1 plus a k lambda square minus lambda k it is lambda square over lambda square minus lambda k square and I am taking a particular wavelength so here what I am assuming that lambda k lies in ultraviolet region and medium is characterized by the oscillator. That's what I am, I am assuming. And this is relating to earlier lecture. So let me rewrite this equation. This can be written as And if I will re express it as 1 plus a k, 1 plus minus lambda k square minus lambda square, and whole this to power 1 minus 1, and I will use the binomial approximation 1 plus x raised to power n, that 1 plus n x plus n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial into x square. And here mod of x is very much less than 1. Also, I have assumed that lambda k is greater than lambda because it is lying in the ultraviolet region and it is in the visible region. So, in that case, this equation will become applying binomial approximation. It is 1 plus a k 1 plus minus 1 minus lambda k square over lambda k plus minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 divided by 2 factorial and it is lambda k minus square over lambda k its whole square and so on now it will become 1 plus a k plus lambda k square into lambda square plus lambda k raised to power 4 root lambda raised to power 4 and so on. Now I can write down this as n square is equal to 1 plus a k plus a k lambda k square over lambda square plus a k lambda raised to power k raised to power 4 and lambda raised to power 4. And let me assume that 1 plus a k is equal to a and a k into lambda k square let me call it as b and a k lambda raised to power k raised to power 4 is equal to c. So if I do all these substitutions then 
I can write down n square as a plus b over lambda square plus c over lambda raised to power 4. Let me call it as equation number a and this equation is known as Cauchy's dispersion formula. And here, let me briefly talk about uh, this, what we call normal dispersion. Let me briefly talk about that. So, now I will consider the equation. And if I try to plot it, because this equation basically tells us about the normal dispersion. If we plot it, let us have a brief look at it. So if we plot along this axis, say this is omega axis and say it is n as a function of omega as I am getting from this equation that this n is depending upon omega and let me call it this point as 0, 1 and omega 0, 2. So if I plot for this, these two, then I am getting such type of plot from here and from here, the plot which I'm getting, sorry, let me call it as the plot is like this. And from here, if I go to the plot of this, then it looks like this. And similarly, here the plot is also like this, right? So that means here, what is going on? If omega is keep on growing, the refractive index is also growing. So this is in accordance with the normal dispersion. So that means this is the plot of the refractive index and omega plotted against frequency of light omega here omega 0 1 and omega 0 2 are natural frequencies of light uh, sorry natural frequencies of uh, atomic oscillators Little. And this is a normal dispersion curve. So, with this, I have derived the Cauchy's relation and briefly talk about normal dispersion. And thanks for watching this video.